Hi everybody. One of the most requested features of the package I created for running OpenAI endpoints in Unity was to uh, ability to use the API key inside the code so that people could use it in Android, iOS and WebGL builds. Uh, the initial thing I did was to uh, keep it out of the project in a JSON file called auth.json which keeps the organization name and the uh, API key so that the, if the project is shared with someone else or built uh, the users wouldn't be able to access your API key which is not safe to keep the keep the code in uh, keep the key hard coded in the project but of course it disabled the ability to be able to test it locally and wasn't really much use to many people so I decided to have the ability of bringing the API key into the project and use it like that which again is a dangerous uh, act to be honest but uh, I will leave it to you the main change I did was in the OpenAI API class uh, right now we have a OpenAI API constructor which takes API key and organization as optional parameters so when you are uh, let's go to chat GPT example for example you can actually create an instance of the OpenAI object without any parameters here you see my current uh, API key which I will dispose of after this video so it's no problem to show you this at the moment you would be able to create your uh, constructor just like that without anything in it so and of course it would be generated automatically and we wouldn't need a constructor in our class in the new case we do have a uh, optional par we do have optional parameters for api key and organization which were our auth js uh, auth json content and now you can actually pass them in in this case the important thing is api key organization is optional if you do have api key then the configuration object will be created using this so let me bring my uh, API key here and in the configuration uh, CS uh, the main part of the code was actually just reading those JS and uh, converting it into our auth object which contains API key and organization uh, in this case we now check the API key if it's null then we try to read the file Otherwise, we set the auth object with the provided API key and organization name parameters. And the error message now will tell you that either API key is null or auth JSON is missing. So this is now also more proper. In this case, both DALI and ChatGPT examples uh, samples we had uh, at the moment have my uh, API key which will not be available of course in the samples of the package but this is you can see how it would be used in WebGL, iOS and Android for seeing them work in your local um, at this point let's go back to Unity and build it for Android and see how it works first we will switch to Android platform gonna take a short while and after that I will quickly build my ChatGPT sample build is done and uh, for me Android Logcat uh, starts immediately uh, this is one of the advice I would really like to give you is that if you are building for Android definitely have Android Logcat package you can go to package manager from uh, Unity registry you can find Android Logcat and install it that is going to help you a lot when you are debugging Android applications if there are any error messages you can immediately see them so I'm starting my application so in this case um, I will just type the message hi how are you or something like that and then wait for the response a couple of seconds later and we get the response so ChatGPT like uh, text uh, the chat generation system just works fine and then let's go to DALI sample to see image generation in action on Android I will move my DALI sample scene up there so it's the one that builds and I will start it 
again in this case if anything goes wrong android locat will show us everything and it should be really helpful app is built and is starting in my prompt input field i will type a black cat and let's send it it says it's loading and i will get my cat image hopefully and yes we have the black cat so image generation on android also works just like that when the api key is provided one place that is tricky to work with is webgl let's go to chat gpt sample and show it so what happens with webgl is that um uh there are issues with uh the endpoints that requires you to upload a form i imp i also provided this information in the readme so at the bottom now there's a known issues area where you can read the problems that are uh known and probably cannot be solved uh anytime soon um in openai some uh, some endpoints require you to send forms uh, in this case multi-part uh, data content and for those i used http client one change i did was actually moving uh, basic uh, rest uh, calls to unit web, web request from http client because http client uh, was not uh, was handled by webgl because of security reasons in this case, uh, moving things to Unity Web Request worked for me and it does the job same as before. However, um, the form upload, either www form or just list of uh, i multi part data uh, interface uh, Unity provides, uh, those didn't work for me. Every time I send the forms, it was telling me those important fields were not ev uh, present there. To me, how I work with that looked all right, but just OpenAI servers just uh, didn't understand what, 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 what I was sending. So I couldn't really find the reason. So I had to keep this out of Unity WebGL. Does it break uh, WebGL from retrieving images? Not really, no, but there is still some other problem, which I will come to. In this case, uh, file creations, fine tune creations, image variations, and image edits will not work with WebGL. However, text completions and getting the image URLs uh, will work just fine. And this, this problem is already uh, mentioned in the known issues area. The second thing, uh, which is a little troublesome, is that uh, you won't be able to see the image res results in your local if you are making a WebGL build. Uh, the reason is WebGL builds are going to send you um, the URLs of the images and their servers do not let you download from local host. So you will see a course, a cross origin uh, issue. So you won't be able to request from cross origin and Unity Web Request in Dali example where we get the URL and then try to download that URL. This part will not work. So uh, once you create your WebGL application, you can upload it to a place like itch.io and then it should work. I haven't tried that just yet myself, but since it will be somewhere not localhost, it should work. I would like to show that to you on the uh, action as well. So you can see how it fails. Uh, it should have been the Dali example. So I will build and run the Dali example for WebGL and let's see how the error message looks. So what I'm gonna try to do at this point is type something and get the result. Again, let's say a black cat and send it so it will say loading but we won't get anything the reason is there is an error message so 
we actually did get the URL that we asked from OpenAI. So that is totally fine. However, we are not able to make a request to this URL and download the image data because we are making a request from localhost and it's blocked by course policy of OpenAI server. At this point, we can't really do anything. Adding, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, headers or anything won't really do anything because it is on OpenAI side. So this is the reason we do need this to be on server side somewhere. So I can click on the URL and yes, our black cat is here. So OpenAI did actually deliver. Yeah, but unfortunately uh, you will have issues with this part. So um, if anybody would be able to upload this to HIO or some other place and verify that actually downloading images works from uh, those kind of places when the Unity application, a uh, Unity build is uploaded. But for now, I can verify uh, OpenAI is working, but downloading the URL part uh, will have issues. So like before, uh, these two issues are already mentioned. Um, maybe in earlier, ver uh, newer versions of Unity, uh, it is much better. And especially um, if you know anything about uh, the form upload issues of Unity, uh, please let me know. I tried for a couple of hours, couldn't really find a proper solution to this. So I decided to dish that for WebGL. However, text endpoint works just fine. It should be all right. And you should be able to use it from there on. Um, I was talking about the, uh, the API keys and you know there's a danger that you might publish them and someone might use it and you would get big bills. Uh, one mistake I made today while pushing the code into GitHub, I actually pushed my uh, API key and about 5-10 minutes later I received an email uh, that was looking like this so they immediately detected that there was an OpenAI API key on GitHub and they revoked it and they notified me, which is very cool. So it's kind of safe that if you push it to GitHub, but you should know that it will be revoked and won't work at all. So OpenAI knows the danger and they try to take cautions and prevent it as much as possible. So you should as well. And the best way to do this is to have a server side and make the requests there. So this would be the uh, this this would be all for this video. Um, I hope this will help you use the package with Android and iOS applications and WebGL too. And have a nice week. Thank you.